Okay, so yesterday, I just happened to be downtown and I saw the river had been drained, so I shot a quick video on that, showing all the fish stacked up the way they were. So uh, today, I'm heading back out there to that same spot, and I'm gonna try to pull in some of those fish. Uh, gonna meet up with Greg and Ethan. I'm not sure if anybody else is coming, but uh, hopefully we can get something. I really wanna catch some of those carp, maybe some of the catfish, and there's at least one pretty decent sized bass that we're gonna try to chase. Uh, everything else I saw was pretty small, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's get to it. We could probably fish around here for a little bit, but these guys right here stirring everything up. And yesterday, dude, there was hundreds of fish I caught, I caught stacked up. Bass, that tournament we had out here, I caught yeah. them in here. Oh yeah? Yeah, underneath that little bridge over there. <laughs> yeah, they're super finicky out there from all the shoveling, I guess. Yeah. There is one thing I didn't didn't think about until right now. Because like yesterday we were talking about like, oh, if we hook one, how are we going to land it? We got to bring, bring a landing net and catch it and everything. And I just realized now, like, how are we going to release it? <laughs> like if we release the fish, how are we going to release it? Well, up here, yeah, but down there where, where there is no water. <laughs> Yeah, especially if we get one of those big ones. Yeah. It's like, I guess we're not the only ones that had that, that idea. <laughs> I've never seen so many people fishing down here before. Not even during the tournament. Oh, uh, of course. Just gotta, we just gotta keep moving ahead of the, the cleaning crews. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. So we're pretty much just sight fishing today. <laughs> Not really gonna be able to set up somewhere and throw bait. Well, yeah, if we can find that cat, that's cool. I haven't seen any of them yet, so they're all farther down, I guess. It might be around the bridge up here somewhere. Of course, yeah. What else is going to happen? I finally get a cast out there right next to where the fish are and I get a leaf. I think these are catfish right here. Time to try something different. Multi species day. Huh? Yeah, there's catfish right here. It's a nice deep hole right here that they're all stacked up in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're working our way down that way. Oh, uh, okay. So Are y'all part of the whole getting the... Oh, no. We're just... Kind of out here for fun. We're capitalizing on what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're stripping it right off on me. I think it's some sunfish. Because I, I can kind of see the hump of one big tilapia right there. But... Oh. Yeah. I'm getting a ton of bites. Something's running with it right now, but I can't set the hook on anything. There we go. Got one. Nice little sunfish. It's not what I was targeting, but I'll take it. <laughs> Oops. Got another one. Yeah, they're good looking fish. There we go. Oh, there we go. 
Is that a bullhead? I've never seen a bullhead before. Hey, Greg! I'm not in this river anyway. But he choked it, of course. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Look, he got a fish. Look, he got a fish. Look, right here. He got a fish. Yep. <laughs> nice. It's a bullhead catfish. I don't even know they have really fish in the river. Uh, well, since they've drained it, you can actually see them a lot more now because they're That's what I was thinking they're going to yeah. There's a, there's a lot more big fish in here than I thought there was, but wow. I've actually never seen this species in this river before. So. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly the the flathead I was looking for, but you know. He won't open his mouth for me to get the hook out. He kind of swallowed it a little bit. Thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah. Cat? Yeah, a little bullhead. Oh, no, yeah, dude. I caught a pretty good size one down the way last yeah. week. What are you using for bait? Uh, this is just on a night crawler. Oh, oh look. No. <laughs> good sunfish. Giant sunfish. That's a sandwich right there. Oh, it's a long ear. I need one pair of pliers to pry open his mouth and another pair to grab the hook. Grab the hook. I got it. You got it now. Oh. <laughs> Look, he turned it into a worm hook. <laughs> you know, I almost wasn't going to get worms. Cause I went Good to thing one. you did. Well, no, I went to one place. And, uh, <laughs> Oh, he hit it too. He hit that quick. But he missed. It. I don't know how I didn't get that hook set on him. Still a big bite. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't. It's like he didn't get the hook at all. Okay, but I don't want a night crawler. So, throw a swim bait in there. Got one. Got one. I think I foul hooked him over there. <whistles> Ethan! Ethan! Yeah, he's foul hooked, but it's a good size tilapia. Ugh. Ooh. No, don't go away. Don't go anywhere. Ugh. There it is. Can't rip him. But it's good size tilapia. <laughs> He's getting away. <laughs> uh -oh. Got him on the swim bait. Foul hooked him. And now he's stuck on the rocks. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, he like flopped on the rocks and got to snag him again. Get him loose. All right, he's stuck right there. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't get him into the water. There we go. But now I hooked him again. <laughs> yeah. Get him up. Let me get out of the way. Yeah, I got him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cut him twice. <laughs>
Yeah, there's a bunch of them right there. <laughs> I've been throwing a night crawler at them, and they're just not interested. Look, there's a bass in there. There's a bass over there. Ugh. <laughs> Trying to show everybody how to do the Mike Long technique. Ugh. This one's even bigger. Yeah. Bigger. Oh, he slipped off. That's bigger than, uh... that was bigger than the first one. Yeah. Calm down. Yeah, damn it. They're hard to hold on to. Uh, there we go. Should we be keeping these? We really should be, but <laughs> I to put it in. Yeah, I know. <sighs> you got a stringer in your truck? That's a good size to lop that, too. Good eating size. Go back and get your ice chest. <laughs> too far. <laughs> you know what's funny? I actually thought about parking over here. Yeah. They, these things are almost armored with these scales. <laughs> He's good though, swimming off. God. Okay, there's a, there's two big bass in here. It's a bunch of carp, some catfish. Two of them. The smaller one's like three pounds. Or right, we'll find out if I can catch one of them. And the wind is blowing against me, so I can't cast in there. You know how there was uh, one, one three-pound bass hanging out here yesterday? Yeah. There's two of them now. I'm not quite ready to resort to a night crawler. <laughs> They're all... Are you kidding? Oh. <laughs> I've had, had a carp on there for a second. I thought it was one of the bass. Oh, you got them? Is it, oh, it was a tilapia. <laughs> These, they're, so, they're really hard to hook. But I got something on it. Got him. Go. Oh, man, he's fighting hard. Is that a cichlid? That's awesome. No, that's a cichlid. Rio Grande cichlid. That's uh, species number four. Not a bad one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, there's like two, three, four pound bass hanging out right here. Yeah, I know. I got all the fucking sunfish out of here. I just had a cichlid and I got. Oh, there's more than just two. Well, this now I switched up the night crawlers because I can't get anything on the. Can't get anything on the artificials. My camera wasn't even on this whole time. I just caught the San Antonio River record again for catch and release. And my camera wasn't even on. This thing is 10 and a half. Maybe 10 and 3 eighths. But there's a little bass right there. No, not woo. <laughs> I went woo on woo. Yeah. I said woo. Catch the San Antonio River record largemouth on a night crawler too. That would just piss off all the elitist. Ooh. Oh, there you go. On the fly? Yeah. Sunfish again? Yeah. Got him. Ooh. Another cichlid. Ooh. This one. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same one. This one's even bigger. No, that's like nine. 
Yeah, but look at like he's tall, but he's short. It's like he's deformed. He like he's he's taller, probably heavier than the last one, but he's like really short. He looks like like a freaking pancake. <laughs> pancake fish. What are those silver dollar fish? Yeah. Oh, here, here we go. I got a rat holder. Hey, got me a rod holder. <laughs> oh, you got him? Oh, you got stuck. Ugh. Nice one. I don't think like, they like my worm. You're on the wrong side of the thing. Nice one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and he took my worm. It was still here a second ago. Oh, <laughs> tilapia. That's a nice one. This might be the best one. Pull and drag, look at that. Oh, he slipped off. Because I was kind of just messing around with him, not really. Well, I mean, I couldn't really horse him in anyway. He was pulling drag, but that's all right. <laughs> just gonna try to get this fish again because he's just chilling, hanging out right here. Hooked, one, hooked in the fin, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop. There we go. <laughs> of course he's foul hooked, but doesn't work him out. Good fish. That big sucker in there. <laughs> I think this is the smaller of the two that are hanging out around here. so big I can't get it in there. There we go. Three point You know what in twenty nineteen it took me a long time to break three pounds. And we're on what January sixth, seventh? Yeah. And I just broke almost I got three and a quarter right there. Whoa. I weighed the fish three point two, almost three and a quarter. And it doesn't really count because I foul hooked it, but still, there's an even bigger bass over there. So that one's got to be close to five pounds. My battery died when I finally landed the bass, but that's species number five, I think. I had the sunfish, the tilapia, bullhead, cichlid, and it was foul hooked, but I still landed a 3.2 pound fish bass. <laughs> and it was release safety it's hanging out over there there's two of them playing with it there we go it's another cichlid Maybe now I can finally find out why all those river treasure guys get so excited when they find an old busted phone. <laughs> I don't know why they're so excited when they find these, but <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, there we go. What do I got here? 
There we go. Here's a bass, and it's not foul hooked. Yeah. Well, now we are. Yeah, we're using, uh, blue is also Sick, dude. That thing one to eat. Yeah, dude. There, this one's not foul hooked. Okay. No, no that one counts. <laughs> no, that's this yeah, one counts. Dude. Large mouth. Yeah. Uh, bluegill? What is it? I moved out from San Diego like a month ago, so I just <laughs> been fishing here like the, the last week. All right, so, it, today didn't really go the way that we thought it was going to go. How many fish do you think you caught? Got two. two fish? Yeah, I had that one at the end there. Oh, oh yeah. Well, he caught a cichlid, a long ear, and a tilapia at the end that actually snapped off. Uh, Ethan, he didn't stick around with us because he went, went ahead and scouted out, wanted to look at these other spots, which is fine. Uh, we did all that yesterday, so since we did that yesterday, we already knew where we wanted to fish today. And uh, yeah, so he, he didn't really stick around with us too much. We did see him catch a couple of fish. But he did better than what shows on the video. Uh, I think I did pretty well. Uh, I foul hooked a, a really nice bass, but uh, unfortunately, since it was foul hooked, it doesn't really count. Uh, but it was three and a quarter pounds, so that was that was pretty cool. So three and a quarter pounds foul hooked, but I redeemed myself by catching one at the at, right at the last minute. A little bass but it was a legal catch on that one so five different species total uh, it would have been a lot better today if we should have gone fishing yesterday but we didn't we didn't have our gear and today they stirred everything up they were doing all the work and it just spooked all the fish everything was super finicky we couldn't really get any bites the only bites we really got were on the night crawlers uh, which just makes Ethan's catches more impressive because he was just throwing flies and that was it so uh, yeah I just did that whole outro and I completely forgot to mention that one of the cichlids I caught was 10 and a half inches and the current catch and release record right now is 10 and a quarter so uh, yeah I'm gonna try to get that verified so now I can say thanks for watching see you next time